WETK is your local election headquarters, and tonight is the first night of the Democratic presidential debate. Ten of the 20 candidates squared off in Miami tonight. KETK's Mai Owens watched the debate tonight from a Democrat watch party in Lindale. She joins us now live. Mai, what are people saying about this first debate? Casey, what a night for Democrats. And now that the debate is over, East Texans say they're unclear who a front runner was, but both Texas candidates definitely made their mark. Now inside brisket love, East Texas voters sat, ate and listened to candidates, introduced themselves, but most importantly, talked about how they plan on solving issues in this country. Many here say key subjects they were looking for the candidates to touch on were equal pay, health care, and most importantly, immigration. Now, it was clear the two Texas candidates tried to stand out on stage. Former mayor of San Antonio, Julian Castro, and former representative Beto O'Rourke somewhat battling on what to do with undocumented immigrants. O'Rourke making a bold move trying to reach out to the Hispanic community by speaking Spanish for portions of the debate, a strategy that East Texans believe may have worked. He is a smart man to do that. Why, Any, why? Look at the population in Texas. I believe there's quotes out there of soon there will be more Hispanics in Texas than Anglos and other uh, immigrant or other groups. Now, those who came out tonight say this was just step one in trying to narrow down the Democratic nominee, and it's unclear if either Texas candidate will make it through. Now, during the debate, one man here came up to me, and this is what he said, change is good, but too much change too fast is never good, meaning it's going to take some time for East Texas voters to decide on who their Democratic nominee will be. Reporting live in Lindale, my Owens, Kate's K News.